All right, welcome to a quick video about my training for last week. So I did like 445 Ks, I believe, about 14 hours and about 14 and a half hours. So this is just a, what, a little bit of doi calm. Uh, so it's a good one, 1 1.3 kilometer climb, 8% average gradient with some steep pitches. So you can just see Paul's basically launching it on the front and I just try and hold his wheel as long as possible. Uh, and basically we just do a full gas effort up here, like as, as much as you can go. Um, I averaged 396 watts for like four minutes. So it's decent effort, but 10 watts down on last week. Um, which isn't great. But anyway, I was only like three seconds slower, so maybe I lost some weight or something, I don't really know. Um, but this is always where I seem to lose the wheel, because I, I seem to carry more momentum into it than not accelerate, and then Paul gets over the top and just absolutely launches it, and I always get stuck here. Um, but this stuff is always really good. I like my high-intensity VO2 stuff. Uh, and then afterwards, we did some 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off for like nine minutes. And that's really brutal. It's very similar to a race because it's like you're going on and then off, on and off, and you get some real good high quality BO2 max efforts. Um, and I feel like going max like this really helps you mentally because uh, I'd be training for the like hill climb season. So it's like in the UK, basically, there's these short climbs, maybe on average two to 10 minutes in the, around that length. Um, and you just need to go full gas as hard as you can. Um, and often it's really your mind that, that lets you down. So here I'm still fighting. I'm still trying to get on Paul's wheel, uh, but I still went off a little bit too hard. It's like 20%. Um, and so it does get steep, but then at the end, it's a pretty casual climb. So for me, I feel like these efforts that help me quite a lot, um, just in terms of mentally, but also just like doing VO2 max efforts really helps like threshold as well, uh, which is one thing I'm trying to sort of develop at this moment in time before I focus on more uh, more VO2 max when I get close to the hill climb season, which is sort of September, October time. Uh, so this is a Deutsche Tech, again, full gas effort, as hard as you can go. I was trying to get my PR, unfortunately I didn't get it, um, but you can see we're not going very hard at this moment in time because basically me and Paul both, well, Paul set the pace at the beginning and went quite hard and we both not really feeling great. So you can see on the wheel we're doing like 290. I think I only averaged 311 watts or something, uh, which wasn't great. So anyway, I think here I decided to come around maybe uh, and try and help him out and do a turn, but then I just realized I was absolutely cooked as well. Um, it was a real, it's one of those days when you're just not feeling it and it was quite hot and like, just just didn't really seem to work, like nothing seemed to really go to plan. My watts were about nine watts less than my PR, um, and that on a sort of longer climb makes quite a lot of difference in terms of time. I think I did a 20, just over 29 minutes uh, on this effort, uh, and on my best ever is 28 minutes 30. So you can see that um, it's, it's quite a lot of difference, just the small amounts of watts. But anyway, it's definitely, um, it's definitely good doing these full gas efforts. On this as well, I was like really struggling, but I was just like, actually just relax. Just don't don't think about what's gonna come, uh, which is a real steep bit at the end. Um, just think about pushing as hard as you can, um, and then you'll do well. And that was basically <laughs> basically what um, what happened. So you can see here, I, I come around Paul and just try and do a turn, but I mean, I'm absolutely cooked at this point. I really just can't do a turn. At the beginning, I was like, oh, I feel pretty good, but no, I just didn't. But the thing is with this, is it's all good training. Um, at the moment, I feel like my training in terms of intensity is not too bad, but I just don't think I'm doing enough volume. I, for me, I feel like I just quite enjoy doing like 15 to 20 hour weeks. I feel like that really does help me quite a lot. Um, so this week I'm gonna be stepping up and try and get like a 18 hour week or something in. Um, it's just that the problem is because it gets quite hot, it's really easy after like two hours just to like throw the towel and be like, yeah, that's enough. But I think I just need to do some like three, four hour rides with some good efforts, uh, which will definitely help uh, to just boost the threshold and like everything else. But doing these full gas efforts, I definitely rate uh, quite a lot and in Adelaide I did this especially just doing like doing your intervals maybe like four times ten minutes at threshold then do, riding like half an hour to the climb or whatever and then just absolutely launching and I find that that really did help me uh, to gain quite a lot of fitness so you can see here we're picking up the speed a little bit up to 27k an hour I think my TSS for the week was about seven maybe only 600 I'm just gonna go check what my TSS for the week was uh, but it's not crazy I mean like I can normally do maybe two to three weeks of over a thousand TSS, um, and that normally does help me quite a lot. So here's just a bit of footage from our 160K ride, which we did with Christian, 164K, average speed was like 35.8, 220, no, 236 normalized power for me. So that's almost four watts per kilo for like four and a half hours, which is, you know, decent for a training ride. Like, obviously it wasn't like a full gas race, but it was, it was still good nonetheless. Um, and it was quite a nice footage. So my TSS for last week, uh, yeah, it was 725. Uh, so here's a bit of motor pacing. This is just the last on Sunday. Um, so I did my, I did Doi Step on Saturday. I did Doi Calm, which was the shorter effort on Wednesday. Uh, on Thursday, I did a long endurance ride, so that was like 160k. And then Monday, I did an easy. Uh, Monday, I did Mon Cham, so that's a good like 80k ride. 
Uh, I think I'd end up doing 100 Tuesday rest day, Friday rest day. And then on Sunday, we were supposed to do four hours, but both me and Paul weren't really feeling it. So I just did an hour. Decent intensity, just to keep the legs going, but nothing crazy. So you can see here, we're just doing a bit of motor pacing behind the cement mixer. Because I always like motor pacing. It's just good for the, good for the morale because you get a lot of speed. And also, uh, I feel like it's just good to practice accelerations, pedaling at high speed, etc., etc. Here, I mean, pedaling at high speed is not really a problem because it's so easy to go 50k an hour. Like 50k an hour is like 300 to 350 watts sometimes uh, if there's lots of traffic overtaking. So yeah, it's pretty good. Um, and I just, I don't know, I, I enjoy my motor pacing. <laughs> it also gives me a massive ego boost when you get home and see like a 36k an hour average speed. Uh, really does just boost them around. So here behind some truck uh, with some chicken eggs in it, which is a bit not not my sort of cup of tea. It's a bit ridiculous. I don't know why people still have eggs, but anyway. That's the world we live in. Absolutely clueless world. Uh, but we're going like 50k an hour behind it. It was a good draft. Uh, so it was good. I mean, I'm happy the truck was there, but I'm just not happy about the eggs. Uh, but yeah, it was good. good training week last week, uh, enjoyed it, we'll be doing maybe four hours more this week, uh, and it'll be good, it'll be enjoyable, and uh, hopefully we'll maybe get a Deutsche Tech PR, I think I'm going to go KOM hunting tomorrow, uh, just some random KOM that I've got pointed out that was, will be easy to get, so anyway, cheers for watching, I hope you enjoy this, if you have any more questions about my training, like just check out my Strava link below, that's the best way of following all my training, I'll do more videos like this, because I know people are always wondering what I get up to, uh, but there we go, this is coming to the end of the vid, so cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next vid.